All right, guys. This is that gamer guy B, and I'm going to introduce you guys to my Mass Effect collection. Um, halfway through, um, I kind of realized I probably should have used my bigger couch, which is right over there. Um, but I didn't, so I had to kind of pile it all in one place. <laughs> um, so this is my. A lot of people, a lot of my friends know that I I wear a lot of this stuff pretty regularly. Um, there's almost always a time when I've got something on me that references Mass Effect. Um, but a lot of people don't quite realize the scale of the collection that I've kind of amassed over the last five years or so. Um, I was a late Mass Effect fan, but um, a dedicated one, as you guys are going to see. So I just wanted to, to get into it and show you guys the, the collection. I'm going to start at one end and just kind of work my way through. Some of it I can remember the names of, some of it I've had for a while and I don't necessarily wear it very often. Um, so it's, some of it is going to be, uh, I'll be able to tell you the prices of stuff and that kind of thing, but some of it I just, I just don't remember. It's, uh, it's been a while and I've had a lot of it for a really long time. So, um, so let's get started. Over here, this is my N7 scarf, you'll see. Um, it's probably, well, not probably, but it's a, it's something I have with me all the time. Um, I'm here in Nova Scotia and the weather isn't always, uh, isn't always as warm as some people might like. So it ends up being pretty cold. I just end up wrapping this guy around me under my jacket, uh, which you're also gonna see in this collection here somewhere. Um, I always take that, put it right in there with it. <laughs> it goes into my uh, my Mass Effect backpack here. Um, and that always just kind of stays with me. So um, that I think it cost, cost me about, I think it was $12 or $15 or something like that because I got it on sale. Um, a lot of the stuff I do watch sales for because I'm like, I don't want to spend a, well, I have spent a fortune on it. It's, uh, there's no way around that, but I, I don't want to necessarily spend all of my money on Mass Effect stuff. Um, Mass Effect Beanie. <laughs> um, I had got this a couple years back. It's been well worn. You can kind of see the, that it's been picked a little bit. Um, it's not necessarily the, uh, the cleanest at the moment. <laughs> It's, uh, it kind of just sits in the bottom of my backpack. I think I paid 10 bucks for that, so. Um, something I wear every day, um, in the winter anyway. This is my, um, I don't know what this was listed as, but it's, uh, it's basically just a hoodie with a fleece inside to it. Um, it's really warm. I throw this on with my, uh, when the weather gets a little chillier. And then I've got my, my Mass Effect, um, my vest that I put over it. So I wear with this. This is old. Um, it's probably one of the first things that I bought on the Bioware store. I don't even think you can get them anymore. Um, I think it costed me probably like 60 bucks is what it was listed for. Um, and that's not counting conversion at the time, whatever that might have been. It's moving along. And you can see Grunt there. <laughs> Little Grunt, plushy. It's a, the first in the, the collection that they're doing. This guy's actually listed on the line. I think he was $40. Um, is what he's listed for, kind of thing. Um, then I get the the first rendition of the Garrus costume hoodie. This guy is it's pretty pretty decently detailed, but I can see why they redid it. the uh, The new one is definitely nicer. Um, I kind of went with this one right away. I think this is more based on his uh, more of his Mass Effect Two uniform than Mass Effect Three, um, but it's nice. To a point, it's probably not one of my favorite ones because it does have a little bit, a uh, little bit more of a cartoony look to it. But it's still pretty cool. It's, uh, I mean, there's definitely a, a fan following for Garrus, as everybody well knows. Um, and I'm not any different, really. I don't like him as much as some of the other people that there do, but I do like him. It's one of my my favorite bros, so to speak. <laughs> Mass Effect. Um, this guy here is my. Well, it's kind of like a winter hoodie. Um, you can hear the, uh, the winter winter material that it's made out of. It's quite heavy. It's uh, it's nice and warm. If you're if I was looking to go without my my vest, I find sometimes it's not as warm as some of the other stuff that I have, so I don't wear it as much. Um, but like late fall, this is a, a really good option to wear out for me here in Canada. So it's uh, this guy. I think it cost me right around sixty eight or seventy. Um, which is pretty normal for for that kind of a uh, kind of a material kind of thing. It's a little heavier than some of the other hoodies are. Um, this one here is not the first hoodie that I owned, 
but it is one of the first renditions of the N7 hoodie is my understanding. Um, it's got the rubber armor swipe on it rather than having the cloth um, material imprinted on it kind of thing. Um, you feel that the, the logo is made of rubber too. This one was, I think it was only $48 or $50 or so. It wasn't that expensive. It's, um, it's really light. Uh, so it's good if you're like looking for something you can wear in the summer as well. So that's a uh, pretty decent one. You see this one pretty commonly. I find almost everybody has that one. It's nice, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it's uh, but it is definitely common by comparison to some of the other stuff. This one here is a newer addition, both to my collection and to the Bioware store. I'm um, sorry if my camera is really wobbly right now. Listen, as I go, I'm looking at the item and not through the camera lens. Just filming on my iPhone, guys. I don't really have any other camera for it. Um, I'm going to model some of this stuff later as, uh, as part of the video as well. I'm planning on meshing it in. So this guy here is the N7 Glitch Hoodie, I think it's called, is what it's listed for online. Um, this one is, at normal price, $68. It's pretty heavy. It's got a different design on the front of it, so you guys can see, I'm trying to get a bit of a bit of an angle on the picture on it here so you can get a get an idea so um it's pretty heavy material you probably wouldn't be able to really wear it in the summer um but it's nice so this next one here is the first rendition of the caden hoodie that they come out with um it's the caden alliance hoodie i think it was it was listed as so it's got the alliance right down the arm on both sides and then it's got um, just the Alliance. I think that's the Spectre logo, actually. I know, right? Blasphemy is no. <laughs> this one here was uh, was another one that was probably $68 or so. Um, quite quite heavy again. Um, heavier material anyway. I mean, like There's quite a bit of thickness to it. And it uh, it's a really warm one as well. My partner wears that one more than I do. Uh, but it does get quite a bit of wear. <laughs> this one here... I think is listed online, or was originally listed online as the N7 hoodie, um, just the Mark One, I guess there is. This is Mark Two. You're going to see here later on in the in the rest of the pile somewhere. Um, I'm a big hoodie collector. I don't know if you guys could tell. I uh, I probably get a Mass Effect hoodie for every every day of the week, and maybe even every day of the month in some cases. <laughs> um, so I've got a lot a lot going on here with this stuff. Uh, a lot of money invested. Took quite a bit to, to get to this point. Um, as you can see, we're halfway through the collection. <laughs> well, maybe there's a lot of little stuff in there too. Once you get off, once I get off the couch here, um, I got a little Morden in here. You guys may have seen the video of him elsewhere. He's got his little uh, his little seashell magnet that comes with him. Let's say uh, it just clips onto his hands. I am the very Insane. model of a scientist Salarian. <laughs> I've studied species Turian, a Saurian, Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology <laughs> because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am life. the very <laughs> model of a scientist Salarian. So he's got a little zipper on back where his batteries go and that kind of thing. Um, he's one of the ones that they, another, I think it was the second in the collection that they released for them. Um, I do have his card here somewhere, I just lost it. It's, uh, not lost it, but it's over, it's sitting on a shelf somewhere. Morden is my personal favorite character, um, as far as the squad mates go, I think. Um, just because he's, he's funny, he's there, well, you guys all know, so I don't have to go into detail. <laughs> uh, this here is the Renegade, um... Renegade Paragon um, Morality Hoodie. It will set you back $75 online. It's a, a pretty nice one, actually. It's one of the one of the ones that's kind of it's got a um, a logo print on the back of each one. It's got the Renegade option or the Paragon option on the inside, so it kind of sw it swaps out. It's reversible. Um, really nice one. This one is one of my one of my favorite ones to look at, but I don't really wear it a lot. It's a uh, Fine by the time the weather rolls around for me to be able to wear something that, in that material, it's almost here and gone before it matters. So, okay, so this one here, probably one of the more detailed ones. This is, um, I think it was listed online as the Shepherd N7 Armor hoodie, and it's a full zip hoodie. It's really heavy. Um, to wear this one anywhere 
you're going to be sweating if you're going to be wearing it anywhere that's uh, anywhere that's even a little bit warm. Um, I really, really enjoy it. Uh, there's a picture of me online wearing it. I've got the, uh, on one of my N7 days with me and my partner, we have it on. Um, it's really detailed, but it's really heavy, and a lot of this is made of rubber. Um, I don't like to wear it too often because I don't want the material to get worn out. Um, you can kind of see along the edges that's a little bit a little bit wrinkled anyway, and I don't even really wear it. I think I've worn it like three times in total in public. But it zips right up and goes right over your face too, so that's pretty cool. This guy here, um, it's a terry cloth hoodie. So this one is the N7, sorry not N7, but the Normandy SR2 um, crew hoodie. So this one is, uh, it's actually one of my favorite ones because I really like the material on it. It's really, uh, fits really well, that kind of stuff. So. But it's also really comfy uh, if you're just looking for something to cover your arms in like the, the winter or the summer, I guess. <laughs> um, then it's then it's one that you can wear quite readily and quite comfortably. Um, not a whole lot of material there. It's quite thin, so you can see the, the thinness of the material and see my hands right through it. My partner wears this one more than I do now. Um, when I first got it, I wore it all the time and I kind of wore it out um, for myself and then obviously moved on to other things. <laughs> This one here is um, is listed as the uh, the N7 Mark II hoodie. Um, you can see the material is a little bit shinier, that kind of thing. There's no armor stripe on this one. Um, it's got the little finger holes on it uh, that you can wear with it. It's really nice. It's a more of a snug fit hoodie. It's not as heavy as some of the other ones, but it is a it is a nice one. Um, probably. One of my personal favorites in the summer when it, when the weather allows for it anyway. That one probably would set you back, I think it's, I think it's $74. A lot of the heavier ones tend to be in that price range. Um, like the uh, the Paragon hoodie and the... Um, sorry, blanking. <laughs> the, uh, and the Shepherd Armor hoodie as well is another one that was... Uh, that when it was first out, it was $98 actually. So, um, this guy here... Is one of the shirts that I got from them. Um, hasn't been worn very much. This one's a little bit, you can see a little bit, it's just been sitting in my closet, kind of thing, the white stuff kind of building up on it. Um, it's a nice little button up buddy, or button up shirt rather. Um, I really like it, uh, but I don't I don't wear long sleeves very often, and when I do, they're, uh, it tends to be the one that I'm wearing right now, <laughs> which is which is this one. So, <laughs> um, moving along. I'm already at like a 12 minute video here, I'll edit that down and editing. Um, this one here I think is the very first N7 hoodie that I bought. Um, you can see it's been worn quite a bit, uh, the, the stitching is starting to go on it. I've had this one the longest and I usually wear this one with my, uh, with my vest that I have over there. This is the other one that I'll wear almost every other day kind of thing. This here, the poor design choice I think, there's a, a velcro strip right here that often touches that piece and it's uh, it, it's stripped away the um, the logo on it kind of thing but still a nice hoodie when I first got it I was kind of disappointed because I thought it was uh, I thought it was coming in in black but where it's charcoal um, and then I learned after I played the game a little bit longer that the N7 armor is actually more of a charcoal color anyway so I was pretty happy with that <laughs> uh, that one set me back $74 originally this guy here I'm not 100% sure if this one was listed as an engineer's jacket or not. It's, uh, it's a really good fit. Um, sorry, it actually might be a cadet's jacket, um, something like that, but it's, it's a nice one. I really like the, uh, I really like this one. This was also part of my first, very first ever Bioware order. Um, so it is one of my oldest in my collection. The color's a little bit, a little bit faded maybe, um, from just kind of hanging out in my closet. But it's a, a good, still a good jacket. I really like it. I wear it every now and then, more or less when the weather gets better for it. It's not very heavy. So this guy here is just one that uh, it's just an N7 sweater. You throw this one on anytime, really, because it's it's not very heavy. Uh, it's another one that just kind of kind of fits over anything and everything. I really wear this one a lot in the summer because it's something I can put on, and especially if you're going to like a movie or something, you want to sit in a cold theater. It's a, uh, that's a good one for that one. <laughs> um, this guy is 
Originally, I something I ordered in the wrong size. I ordered it in a large, so I haven't really worn it that often. It's a little bit big for me, but I, uh, I typically wear an American medium, so this one's in a large. But it's a good running jacket, actually. It's a it's made of a material that's more for like a like a breathable polyester kind of thing. It's a good workout shirt. Um, if I was every now and then, I'd run in the winter time, and I would wear this one um, as part of my part of my workout getup kind of thing, so. Now, what's left is just a couple, as far as on the couch anyway. Um, <laughs> this little guy here, I don't know if anybody's seen him online or not. Uh, just let me get him talking here. But it's the uh, the talking Alcor plush. <laughs> I don't know what he said there either. He's asking me to check the closet. <laughs> so yeah, he's, uh, he's, I'll set you back 30 bucks. He's currently sold out of the Bioware store, but they're bringing him back from what I can tell. So. <laughs> um, so some of this stuff I didn't necessarily get at the Bioware store, and this is one of them. Um, I got this at the local Hellcon, um, or well, local con. It's the Hellcon event that comes up. Um, this cost me fifty dollars, and I'm pretty sure it's um, it's made by the people that I bought it from. I don't think it's something that's made in mass, but I mean I, I could totally be wrong. If you can see it somewhere else, let me know. Sorry, I didn't pay fifty; I paid thirty-five um, for that one, and I got that recently. I don't really use it very often for more of a decoration. So, <laughs> um, so a couple of jackets. This one here, um, the inside lining is taken out of it, but it's the. Uh, I think this was listed as a Bioware Engineers or a tech jacket. Um, I think it was listed as a tech jacket when I think about it. It was $98 and it is a very good winter jacket if you're looking for one. Um, you can use it with the material out of it as a summer jacket. I actually ran into a girl um, at my work uh, who was going through the till and I was like, how are you wearing that in the summer? Because as far as I knew it was only a winter jacket. And, uh, and she's like, well, the inside comes out of it, so that's how I learned with that. And now I can't get the inside back in, so it's a little bit frustrating. <laughs> but it's uh, it's nice, a really nice jacket. It's got decent um, N7 design to it. Um, the armor stripe is is part of the material. It's not um, it's not rubber or anything like that. This is a rubber logo kind of thing. Um, it's really nice. I mean, it, we had a really harsh winter last year, and this is the jacket that I wore for it. Um, and it's it's really warm when you get it all set up and on. So that's not the uh, the six hundred real six hundred dollar real leather jacket, but it is the uh, the replica of it. Um, so this is the uh, the Commander Shepard jacket, the replica of the one that he wears in the game. Um, it's really really nice, but this one is the faux leather one. Um, I didn't by the time I was committed to it, the other one had sold out, and I didn't really feel like spending the, uh, the $600 on the other one. I think that's what it was anyway. Um, nice jacket and all, but I didn't uh, I didn't think I would wear it enough to justify that much of a price on it. Um, especially when you see some of the other stuff in the collection here. I do have some other stuff that I've, uh, that I've made quite a bit of an investment in. Um, so that's really light. Um, I find you can wear it in the summer, but if you're in Canada like I am, it doesn't really cut it for any other weather, so it's kind of like a, it's a very situational setup. This guy here, this is still listed online. This is the um, Mass Effect, or well, N7 backpack. I use this to, um, I use this every day, so it's part of my everyday. You see it's quite worn, it's got a lot of dirt on the bottom of the bag, and that kind of stuff. Um, but I do use it every day to take my stuff to work with. Um, it's got a decent size compartment in it. There's two on the inside, um, one in the very back, one in the front. Uh, you probably fit a, like a probably fit a laptop in there quite comfortably, I'd imagine. Um, then it's got the, the packs on the side. It's more of a hiker's backpack. It's got a bit of a like a strap on right here. Again, I use it up every day. It's uh, probably one of the better fifty dollars I spent. And this one here, this is a uh, over the shoulder, kind of like a tote bag or a laptop bag. I don't use this one very often because I have because I've got the other one, um, so I don't like to use it too much. This one here is, is uh, a little more detail went into the design as you can see. Um, 
decent. Yeah, it still has a silica in it from when I bought it, so it's not. It uh, hasn't been used at all. Um, got this one for Christmas last year. I think my partner got this one for me. But if you're looking at it online, it'll say you back with sixty dollars on the website. So it's a really nice. Um, it's a really nice material. It's really really durable. You can feel. So it's uh, for those of you who do decide to get it and use it. It'll probably be around for a long time. Um, so moving along, these are probably the only thing I bought in the Bioware store that I wasn't proud of. Um, when I got these, I think that they were one pair of 2000 that they were making. Um, I wore them twice and the strap let go over here. So that's, that's not very good. I, uh, I didn't even get a chance to really enjoy them at all. So, I mean, they're, they're not great as far as the look of them, but I, I do like them. Um, but once again, I wore them like twice and that, that just let go on me. And this was of course well after I had, uh, I had purchased it um, from the store quite a bit prior to actually wearing them or having the time to wear them. So this would probably be the one thing on the store, well one of, the, one of a couple of things that I, uh, that I wouldn't review well if I were to do an actual product review on them. Alright, so this here is the crown jewel set I like to call it. So it's got all of my uh, all of my most valuables kind of thing. Um, not that not necessarily the toys, but they're <laughs> they're part of the set because the you can't get them anymore. I don't think. Um, I don't think they're in production anymore. So you can probably get them, but you probably can't get them new unless somebody has them sitting around somewhere and that kind of thing. Um, so just to start off on one side here, this is the Kai Arts version of Ashley that they brought out. Um, she's not opened. She's been in package since I got her. Um, and I'm not going, I have no intention of opening this package kind of thing. I'm going to keep them in their, in their condition. Um, they also came out with Garrus. Um, and I think Tally may have made it out as well, but I don't know if I, I never got Tally. So, um, or Garrus really. Um, so I paid, I think I paid 40 for this because I got it on a sale on a different website, but it was originally available in the Bioware store for, um, I think they were closer to 100, but I, I could be wrong. Um, this is the Commander Shepard one. So I uh, got this one, I got them both at the same time, same order. They are, again, not opened. They're both quite, uh, quite nice. I really like the detail on them. I mean, everybody who's, anybody who's a toy collector would probably recognize the Kai Arts work as, uh, is quite well detailed kind of thing. Uh, they do a lot of good work and a lot of detailed work kind of thing. So I don't want to, I didn't want to take it out of the package because I really like them. Um, and I want them to be a, a decorative someday. So, well, they are decorative now, but <laughs> maybe a valuable, a valuable someday. Um, some other stuff on here, um, N7 Normandy SR2 engineering water bottle. <laughs> Um, this is pretty, pretty generic for what it is, but I mean, there, it is pretty cool. I really like it. I, uh, I have, I've had that for a really long time as well as part of my, my collection. I got it probably right along the time I got that, um, that, um, that military jacket or cadet's jacket that I got as well. I think it was part of the same order as that. Um, some other stuff, some of this stuff is still available. Some of it isn't. That's my, uh, my N7 mug. That I, um, or sorry, Stein, I guess maybe, maybe, <laughs> um, that I got as well. I use this pretty frequently. Don't put it in the, uh, if you ever get one, don't put it in the dishwasher because that stuff, um, the logo will come off if you do, I think. Uh, I haven't risked it, risked it, sorry. Um, same thing with the mug. This is, uh, the logo is kind of just uh, tapered on there, and if you're not careful, you could probably strip that right off there, but. Um, both of them, I think they were probably like 10 bucks each kind of thing. I've had them for a couple of months anyway. I've got them since I, since I moved to the place I'm in now. Um, other stuff you're seeing in here. Um, one of the, the biggest purchases I've made, and it is a little dirty. I forgive. <laughs> forgive me. I don't, uh, don't dust it as much as I probably should. This is the limited edition of the Normandy, um, as well as you'll see a couple of the little ones that they put out as well. So like those are the little... Um, 
little replicas that you can get online. They still make them, and they're I think they run anywhere from anywhere up to twenty four dollars to get each one of them. Um, this guy, oh, Commander Shepard, USB. <laughs> I got that uh, got that off the store. I think it's like ten bucks. It wasn't cheap at all, or wasn't expensive at all, rather. Um, N seven leather wallet. Um, this is my my day to day wallet kind of thing. It's got a nice. Uh, I don't know if it's a metal logo, but it's a uh, it's a material logo on it, so it's it's quite nice. Use it every day. Um, then you're seeing this guy here, which is probably the, the total crown jewel of my of my collection. Um, this is the one in five hundred Mass Effect N7 watch. Um, it's I think I paid $600 for this guy once it was all said and done. Um, the the letters glow in the dark, the hands glow in the dark as well. You can see the little second hand and that kind of thing. The uh, the watch itself is is dead. I need to get the battery replaced. I have had it for two years. Um, and that's that's what they said the battery power would probably last. So I wish it was self-recharging, which would have been nice, but it's not. But here it is. Um, originally, the links were quite a bit bigger. Or it was quite a bit bigger. I had to take out a couple of the links when I got it. Um, I took it to a jewelry shop and they took it out so I could actually wear it. Um, super nice. It's waterproof up to 100 feet. I'm pretty sure. And not that I'd ever test it because uh, I don't want to. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, man, I can't imagine sinking something that I spent $500 for into uh, into water of any kind, <laughs> unless it was to wash it, which is something different. But um, it's heavy. It's made of a titanium material um, like it once you pick it up you can it's almost as heavy as, as some of the, the smaller hoodies that I have here um, some other little things I got moving along um, the couple of belt buckles that I've got one of them I got like this one here I got at a, a geek store in my my hometown at the time I've had it longer than the other one um, I like it quite a bit more than the other one as well it's it gets worn every day it's my regular belt that I have um, but it's got one of these guys on it rather than having the uh, This one here is a static piece on it. It just goes on a regular belt kind of thing um, It's just not very flexible But it's it's nice um, This guy here you can see that the uh, The red piece of the logo is missing that fell out and I lost it at my job at one point And I couldn't find it. I rocked around for probably 20 or 30 minutes looking around, but I couldn't see it and the, uh, the logos on this have come off as well, but I found them and, and managed to, to glue them on. And it's got a little bit of beaten up on the side there, that kind of thing. It's my favorite belt buckle. <laughs> um, otherwise, got a couple things here. This here isn't a Bioware item, but it's a something I got from a 3D printing shop kind of thing. It's a, um, it's a clip N7 ring, so it's the uh, a thermal clip wrapped around and uh, with an N7 logo on it kind of thing. It's, when I first got it, I think I, I thought it was a little bit different than what it is. Um, it was supposed, they had it um, all painted up on the website and that kind of stuff, so it looked quite a bit nicer. Still a nice ring, but it's not as uh, not as nice as I originally thought it was gonna be when I got it. Then I've got this one here that I've gotten recently. This one here, again, isn't, isn't a Bioware exclusive. Um, I got this off of a website that, um, I don't know if they had the license for it or not, but it's a Paragon ring. They had a Renegade, Renegade ring as well. Um, really nice. I think this cost me fifty dollars. Is what it was. My my partner actually got it for me for my birthday. Um, but it's a really nice ring. It's probably my favorite. Uh, well, it's definitely my favorite ring. I wear this one every 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 day or every other day. Um, it actually matches quite well with one of my pairs of glasses that I have. Um, this is all all draped down on an N7 towel that I got. I got it on sale. I think it was uh, it's a Bioware store, whether or not it's exclusive or not, but that's where I got it. Um, I think it's $25 is what you'll pay for it originally. And then, uh, I don't know if it's available anymore, though. I haven't, uh, haven't seen it in a bit. So this guy moves. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys this here. Once more, back to the Normandy. Um, this was one in 1500, and that's the, uh, the card that came with it. So it's number 438 of 1500 constructed. Um, I'm going to take a look at the detail on it, maybe just get a little bit closer with it. Um, it's quite well detailed. It's pretty much right down to the right down to the nose, very much the Normandy in, in total. It's 
Sorry, I'm blurring the camera here a little bit. This is clearly the Mass Effect 3 version of the Normandy SR2. The little one's the Cerberus one. <laughs> so down here, it's a bit of a more of a toy collection um, slash comic collection. Almost done. Won't spend too too much time on these guys. They're uh, these ones here were released as part of a Mass Effect 2 series of toys. Um, this is Garrus with the, the missing piece out of his armor and that kind of stuff. So, um, but he's they're not as not as well detailed as some of the other ones. And I don't even think that they finished them. There was um, like I've got I got all the ones that were available. So you can see that there's Garrus and Tally, um, Grunt, Shepard, Miranda. Um, Morden, Thane, and Legion, um, but they're missing Jack and uh, Kasumi and Zaid. I don't know if they ever produced them as toys, but I never saw them come up in the store. I don't think you can get these guys anymore. Um, I took them out of the packaging when I got them uh, because in the packaging there was a uh, an Mass Effect 3 multiplayer um, multiplayer reward that came along with them. Uh, you redeem them, and then they're they're just on your on your account kind of thing. So. Um, underneath all these guys, this is unopened. I've uh, I've got all these comics separately as well, but it's the comic collection for Mass Effect Three. Um, I don't know how that happened. Now that I'm looking at that, it's a little pick out of it. But um, so this here has um, it's got Redemption, Evolution, Invasion, and the Homeworld series of comics that they have. Um, this here, I don't know if this was released recently or not. My partner found this that actually had chapters, I believe. But it's the whole, um, the whole deluxe volume. It's quite, quite heavy and it's quite thick, as you can see. So, <laughs> since I, uh, I had the, a lot of those comics as digital copies, and I've got them as, uh, as other copies as well. So I don't. That's why I haven't really opened it. If I want to read them, I'll just, uh, just read the copies that I already have, kind of thing, rather than open the. A nice package up like that. So, this guy here, Mass Effect Mon Monopoly, the N7 Collector's Edition. Um, once again, something I won't be opening. It's uh, something I got for it to be a collector kind of thing. Um, this is more based on the Mass Effect 2 stuff, so it's been around for a while. It is available on the website still, I think. So, you're an idea on what some of the pieces are. On the camera, we focus. <laughs> Ah, the space hamster. <laughs> Everyone saw that before. Shifty cow, and the Normandy, and the Omni tool, and the N7 helmet, and the Mako. So, give you an idea on what you're looking at with it here. So yeah, it's uh, that's my the extent of my Mass Effect collection. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will. Uh, don't know if I'll be doing too many of these videos because I mean I only have a couple of uh, this is the only collection I really have as far as a lot of this stuff goes um, but I do have some more stuff coming from the store with the launch of Andromeda I purchased the uh, the special edition Nomad um, it's a camera and then I also did the uh, the special edition guide and the special edition of the game so I'm all pre-ordered and set to go for when Andromeda comes out but anyway that's this gamer this is that gamer guy B signing out Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take a look at uh, the rest of my series. I'm getting ready to launch the, uh, the Mass Effect Paragon Season 3 as well. So, have a good day, guys. Thanks.